One of the most common problems I come across when helping clients go through their financial paperwork is keeping items because they're unsure of when it's time to let documents go. I'm Dr. Catherine Macy, owner of organize to excel If you are a return visitor, welcome back. If you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button. We've been helping people overcome clutter and get more organized for over 15 years. And I'm here today to help you organize your financial paperwork. If you run a small business, business paperwork has its own set of retention rules. Check out the link below. When paperwork is past its keep until date, shred it if it has personal information. If you have a small business, you may be fine with a small shredder, but there are also services like Shredder that pick up shreddable materials and turn them into recycled paper. At the beginning of your financial year, create new folders you can use throughout the year. Keep in mind the 520 rule, which says that any folder with fewer than five items in it should be combined with another, and any folder with more than 20 should be subdivided into other folders. This streamlines searching for documents, saving you time and money. At the beginning of each year, archive the previous year's financial documents. Keep them somewhere they can be accessed if needed, but don't get in the way of day-to-day -day activities. It's a good idea to do a yearly checkup on employee training. Make sure everyone who needs access to files has it and that they know the naming rules and conventions of your business filing system. Having codified rules for filing paperwork that all employees know make sure that your filing system stays in good shape. Make sure that your accounting and filing software is up to date so that you can take advantage of the latest technology. Outdated software can slow down your business and make day-to-day -day operations stressful. Staying on top of paperwork throughout the year and indeed on a daily or weekly basis makes it much more manageable. Anecdotal estimates suggest that paperwork we deal with in a month is the equivalent to the paperwork that our parents dealt with in a year and that our grandparents dealt with in their lifetimes. So keep at it, do what you can to reduce the amount of paperwork that even enters your household and create great habits that help you stay on top of it all. Organize to Excel, practical solutions for everyday issues. Subscribe, like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram and visit our website www.organizetoexcel.com.